Say something. No, you're right, mate. So, Reese rides BMX. Um, asks, what was my favourite trick and why? Um, and what would I prefer, Park Street or Dirt? Um, favourite trick, hands down, would be like floated downside whip. Um, like, I don't get that feeling from any other trick. It's just like. I don't know, you're in the air and it's oppo wear and it's a little bit unpredictable, but like somehow feet just land perfect and it's like a sick feeling. Um, park for sure. Like ever since I started riding, like, I don't know, you're just drawn to it. Like you, there's so many things you can do at a skate park, just even from a deck manual to like blast the biggest air, it's sick. Like, although dirt in the street is pretty cool, but park for sure. Uh, at names, Curdle. Um, wants to know what was going through my head when I did the ANU gap for the Backland DVD. Um, that rail has sort of taunted me for years, like ever since the Colony DVD. Um, always wanted to do it and it's like, and it's in Canberra and it's like, I don't know, always been on the top of my mind to do it. And um, when we first started filming for the Backbone DVD, it was like the first sort of big thing that like I had in my head and I thought may as well just get it out of the way have a good crack at it and um yeah like I don't know I was super nervous like that rail isn't to be played with because especially like you have to gut to it there's no real like the kink in the middle is not friendly so like there's only one option and uh the run up was sketchy it's really short and uh the whole time like I thought I had it, just was really confident. And um, yeah, the first go came in a little bit too slow and hovered to the, the rail and um, end up avoiding death somehow. But yeah, it came to the bottom, turned around, smacked in the wall. I think it broke like two toes. And uh, after that, like, I kind of knew that I could do it. Like, it was like that first one was out of the way. and. Um, from there, it was just like I just wanted to be back straight away and give it a crack. And I, I think we came back a week later, and it like just happened perfect. Like couldn't have gone any better. Definitely one of those rails that I didn't take for granted, but like I just knew that I was if I was confident I could get it done. So it was a good one to get a, a good start for the DVD anyway. That's for sure. Um, at Aiden Fox asked me what the scariest rail I've done and it's definitely that ANU rail like just because it's just I don't know been on my mind for so long and it, like wanted to tick it off but um, coming up to it and then especially crashing the first time but then the second time like super nervous couldn't like had butterflies like and I think that's a good thing when you're doing big rails like that like if you go in super confident like it can go south real quick but yeah that was Good to get that one out of the way for sure. Um, at Mark Bray 176 said, Do you remember your stack in the backbone video on the rail? And I'm assuming it's like the kink rail. Um, nah, I remember like watching the playback footage like Jacko played for me. Like I was laying in bed and I was all banged up, but like um, I don't remember a thing. Like it happened so quick and Again, like I was maybe a little bit too confident for that rail. Like we're on a good run with the video, and um, yeah, just it happened so quick. And like, yeah, before you know it, I was mad concussed, woke up in hospital, and yeah, banged up. But yeah, it's definitely a good crit. Uh, Lays a sprocky number one. Um, asks whether I fold my toilet paper or scrunch it. Um, I'm a clean snap kind of guy, so like I'm, I'm good with that. Um, <laughs> um, Chris Party asks, How was the mushroom season this year? Like, I'm not into that sort of stuff at all. Like, um, I'm sure it was good for all the people out there to do it, but yeah. Um, John O'Neill said, how deadly was the Kurong Bowl? It was the the shittest, best looking ramp you've ever seen. Like until everyone went there and had a ride of it, like 
I don't know, a good look, it, it, sorry, it looked good on photo, but yeah, as soon as you got there, it was like four foot training that just went nowhere. But still, it was a backyard ramp or something right for everyone. So pretty stoked that like, I built it without even putting a tape measure on it. It's pretty, pretty cool, I guess. All right, so at Noah Hernandez asked, um, when backbone first started, how many riders did we first have to start with? Um, from memory, like I wasn't even on the team back then, but like Riss kind of started out the back of his ute, and I think there was like Russell, Risty, a few others, like that are pretty tight crew that just sort of supported the shop. Um, and from then, like the sword just got bigger and the following got bigger and Risk could do a little bit more with it. And like, it took a while before he started hooking people up, but like, yeah, like now it's like, I think there's like 12, 15 dudes on the team and Royal Rats and so on and so on. So it's definitely come a long way since the start. Big ups to Risk for like hooking us all up from the start. <laughs> Um, at Will Belotho asks, why am I so cooked? Um, I think it's relevant to the question, uh, to the photo that was on the Instagram thing, but, uh, as Ria said, like, it's just, just as cooked as the next person. He's probably just as cooked as me, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Probably too this many. This is my segment. Get <laughs> off. Yeah. It's my time to shine. Nah, like, I don't know, probably just been smashing my head into concrete so many times, so, yeah. <laughs> um, at Tom O'Reilly, what is your method to tightening bolts on the bike? How often do you shop at factory? Will you be acting in, as the next Jack Sparrow in the fifth Pirates Carrier of the Bean? Um, pretty sure Tom answered it perfect for me before. Finger tight, um, three days a week. And yes, I will be appearing in the fifth parts of the Caribbean. Once I get my hair back, of course. <laughs>